This is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. Um, in a couple weeks, we're going to have a virtual session online about how to achieve transparency in brush painting. And so we are um, getting a little intro in this subject to get started. Today, we're going to do a hibiscus. This is the sample work we start with we will do a little bit variation in color wise but the shape is like this so the the flower is a little bit on the abstract abstract side and um, um, the thing is we want to talk about in order to achieve uh, transparency you want to make sure your color, when you load your color on the top of your brush, there's enough clearance, clear water to achieve that transparency. And um, uh, so if your brush is too small, there's a tendency to push the color to the top. And then you, if you don't, you're not able to show the clear water part of the brush, then you will not achieve the transparency. So um, today I'm going to use um, our premium double shade in the cut sheets, which is P27BL. Uh, you can use J play double shine, um, or if you like single shine, that work too. And um, um, the brush I'm going to use, I'm using um, full lotus brush, which is uh, fullest I can find in this size or if you don't have a uh, full lotus the super flow is next to it and um, and then uh, I also will use um, a flow brush and this is the only two brush I'm going to use and I will show you uh, how we accomplish that as far as the color because we are using a large brush to load the color so um, I'm not using that much palette and I'm using uh, dishes. So I have uh, indigo chips, yellow, uh, yellow and indigo chip make the green. And then I have the Sakura white, which is a poster white and made a white base. And then I also use the companion set for uh, some accent colors. So there is not that much other color and then best bottle ink. And then on the white, I have Sakura white with the yellow as the base of the flower and then the bleed proof white uh, with yellow for the center of the flower. So make sure that your body is clear, clean, but not too wet. But your tip, you want to be wet, otherwise you can't move. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm 
going to load a little yellow and then vermilion blend and then wanted to make sure that it's bright enough so I add a little red into the to the vermilion so I'm going to do my center of the flower so so this is what I'm talking about I have um, dark and then I have this faded water area so you want to make sure that your brush is is no no more than maybe a little bit over a quarter in color and um, So this is my center of my flower. So then I rinse the brush off and then I loaded my um, yellow. Put a little green. So this is the, my center of flower. So you want to make sure that every stroke is toward that center. So you can see that I have all these different color, but I also in the center of the petal, I have this clear water area. And then Again, I'm re using, I lost, used up all my what color. So you can see that from the dark to light, I do have some area, so. I'm reloading my color. A little green. So that that's that side. And then I'm going to work on this side now. Again, it's the yellow with a little green and a little vermilion. So you can see that there is clear water area. So you never want your brushes to um, to to load with color, then you won't be able to show the transparency. So then I have a little vermilion to accent it. So then I have a little green to hold this calyx. So I want to make sure that it's right underneath here so it will hold this thing. So then I'm going to 
going to do some yellow with a little vermilion. All right, so then I have load my green with a little red. One. All right, and then I'm going to do this big leaf right underneath it. So I have loaded yellow, uh, green with indigo and a little bit black. And I wanted to use some dry brush with the green and a little yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to try to do the center of the flower. So I'm using the flow brush with the bleed proof white and yellow. So to make it stand out more, and I'm using a little bit red to accent it. And then the same brush flow, and I'm using a little bit orange vermilion, and to do the vein of the flower. So I'm going to do
So I hope this uh, demonstration will show you how to achieve, as an intro, how to achieve the transparency of the uh, color on brush painting. So now I'm going to sign my name right on the corner. All right, I hope this one inspire you. Uh, see you next time.